Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be like a mini interim project pan. I wanted to create this project pan as kind of like an interim one, something in between the current project pan that I'm doing, which is the Budget Beauties. It ends somewhere around January, I believe, and I just feel like I wanted to squeeze in one more project and try to push out a few more products in my collection in the meantime for the end of the year. I wanna do this project pan and it's just gonna focus on um, the time now, which is, what are we on, November 18th till the end of the year, so December 31st. Real quick, if you're new, I'd love for you to join the fam, so hit the subscribe button and tap the bell so you know when my next video goes up. Okay, so I don't know what to title this video. Um, I've asked the Pantastic Ladies collab on Facebook, and they've said that Danny Bo, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, her and I think Amber F, I'm not sure, they're doing like a um, race to the finish by 2019 or panning or finish five or something like that by the end of the year. Um, I don't have that many products and I was just going through my collection real quick and I just found a few things that I think that I can get done by the end of 2018. Again, I'm still trying to figure out if I want to like create my own type of project. It's not anything rolling. Um, it's just a few products I have left to just like polish off. I thought about doing like polish off, uh, polish off 2018, but I don't know. I feel like that will get confused with project polish, which is nail polish. So I don't know, I'm stumped on what to call this project, but let me just get into the products. This is the Next Tree Tea Tree Balanced Skin Elixir. This is really good for my skin right now because with the dry weather, it, my skin has just been feeling really dry lately and this is really nice and balancing for the skin. It's not super mattifying and it's not super hydrating. It's right in the middle, so it's just exactly what my skin needs at the moment. It might be at this line right here. I think I'm there, so I'm literally almost there like it's last legs. So I don't know, it's probably like a like a good one, like last legs project pan to 2018, I don't know, or on my last leg, on its last leg. Oh my gosh, I think I just made one up. All right, so just stay with me on that one. All right, so next is the Anastasia Belly Hills Brow Wiz. I'm wearing it today. And that's basically all I have left. I rolled it all the way up and that is all I have. But with this stuff, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm hoping I can, <coughs> excuse me, finish that off. Okay, this, I've been scraping and digging and I refuse to give up till I use up the very last of this. So I store these Wet n Wild concealers upside down like so because when they're like this, all the concealer goes to the bottom. And so there's a crap ton of concealer up in there and I'm not gonna let that go to waste. So I'm literally digging and scraping and I do have those rubber spatulas. So if it comes to that point, I will grab those and start digging in there. So again, another product that is on its last leg. This never ends because it's super opaque. This is the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner and Fishnet. If you've been watching my channel and watching my project pans, you know that this is always in there or always in my tutorials or something. This stuff is so good and it just won't go because it's super opaque and it's, I don't know, I just really like it. It's at the point where it's getting harder to sharpen, so I'm going to try to get as far as I can go. And the only time I use this is on my upper waterline. So... Um, I'm amazed that I've gotten, you know, this much use out of it for just putting it in my upper waterline. Um, I don't really put anything dark on the lower lash line. I've been using just, um, like a brown eyeshadow or something underneath just because I like to stick a nude eyeliner in my lower waterline. Anyway, okay, so there's that. And then the last one, I contemplated on this one, but I'm like, I have other powders that I want to try and get through. So, man, this one's just super expensive. It is from Cover Effects, and it's the perfect setting powder. Oh, man, I really didn't want to include this one in here, but I'm like, you know what? I just got to bite the bullet. I got to use it, and so here I am. I'm not even going to be able to have lines mark anything because I'm hoping to be able to, you know, finish these completely off. That's how much, oh gosh, without tipping it over. So it's not very much powder left. 
Like I said, it's super expensive, but I have other items that need to be used up in my collection. I have been under the weather, so I apologize for not having a video last week or maybe one video last week. And then I'm also going to have my first update on my um, Budget Beauty Project Pan on Friday. So it's going to be a lot of project pan this week, which is awesome. I love project panning. So yeah, that is it for this video. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Have a blessed day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.